Hello, Clever here. Um, today is another day for us to bring to us success tips, motivations, finance tips, personal development, and then um, to educate ourselves on one or two things that we love um, to need. I mean, we need them in our success journey to um, get to wherever you want to get to in life. I've always been your servant, Emmanuel Clever, and today too, I will be. So if you're watching me right now, you wanna like this video, comment, share, and then subscribe as well. Please do your possible best to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Now I'm gonna talk about one of the popular books, one of the best of all books by one of the, I mean, the, the, the ultimate and one of the finest motivational speakers, uh, personal development strategist of all times. And um, this is a man that I actually love so much. He's a man that is actually motivated much through his, his ideas, through his, uh, his books, through his inspirational words, and many others. And he's brought out the finest book that we can talk of on the, I mean, on the market. And then if you're looking for ways to get yourself up there, if you're looking for ways to push yourself to the pinnacle, um, I believe that um, there's no way you can actually do it with, um, without having... So if you know about Brian Tracy, I mean, the renowned Brian Tracy, uh, there's no, I mean, legitimate doubt that he's a well-known motivational speaker, an author and a business consultant. I mean, he's, he's known for his expertise in personal and prof uh, professional development. I've personally known him for years now. I mean, through some of his books, he's actually motivated and inspired me so much. And you know, like he's uh, written and spoken extensively on topics such as goal setting, time management, and personal productivity. And I think, um, just like every man being, if you're looking to uh, push yourself to the pinnacle, these are some of the strategies that you can't get away from it. I mean, personal productivity is one of the things that is key to consistent progress in life. I mean, time management, though we can't control time in this world, but we can uh, control our personal activities to catch up with time. And then, Tracy, uh, Brian Tracy, just like I said, um, he's, he's been the author of more than 70 books, and then including the best-selling Eat That Frog, if you know of uh, that book, he's, he's also, also been um, I am the, the, the author of many popular books that people read and then get results. And today, too, he's done it again. He's brought out the best of all books um, titled Goals. Yes, so titled Goals, Goals, Goals. Goals. So this is the book. Um, if, if you haven't gotten a copy, do your possible best to get a copy. This, this is one of the finest books that you can have uh, to, to, to boost um, your confidence in your entrepreneurial journey. This is one of the books that you can have as a student to get yourself motivated. This is one of the books that you can have as a worker, I mean as, as an employee. Um, this is one of the books that you can have. Any endeavor that you find yourself uh, being it academics, being it business, finance, whatever. I think this is one of the books that you can have for yourself. So um, in this video, we're going to um, get into this book and then know more about it. We want to know how Brian Tracy wrote to the world uh, about his um, ideas on goals through this book. So this is how the book looks like. It's just um, a bit lengthy, but it's not that, it's not that bulky. So it's it, it not, not something so huge. And this is the back cover of the book. Um, with this picture here, you can see Brian Tracy himself, and then um, a bit about himself here also. And then it just, um, it just $15, I mean $15.95. So I mean, just a peanut, just some few dollars. You can get, uh, you can grab a copy of this book. And like I said, it's, 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 not, it's not something so huge. Um, I mean, by the best author. So if you buy it, you're not buying something that um, you're gonna wish, you're gonna wish your money. Because if you know Brian Trace, you know that he's the CEO of Brian Trace International, and a comp and that is a company that actually provides training and consulting services to businesses and organizations as well. And then. For decades, he's been doing this. He's trained and mentored thousands of individuals from entrepreneurs to top executives, from students to salespeople, and then he's spoken to audiences all over the world and has been featured on many televisions and then on many international scenes.
so goals goals so um the first page of this book you see the word goals here i, I hope you can see it yes yeah, so with an explanation mark that is going to speak more of it just diving more into it i just see um, goals again and um, the introduction of this book i i actually love it so much i mean it says that how to get everything you want faster than you ever thought possible so how you can actually get everything you want and i believe father I, I i can promise you that this is one of the powerful books that you can ever have for yourself i mean by the brand tracy international team and then let's look at the content looking at the content here uh, the first uh, outline goes like unlock your unlock your potential so it means that every individual you have that thing in you you, you have all that it takes to get to where you want to get to but sometimes you need one or two things to push you to be your best self and then Brian Tracy is done it in this um, book titled Goals so you are um, going to teach you how to un unlock your potential and then also number two take charge of your life and I actually love this point so much because I believe that in fact any any good and better thing I can do for yourself uh, comes from yourself and nobody else so I mean that is what allow people to I mean excuse excuses and then um, accept responsibilities for their life and then we have um, create your own future go, as i go into it I'll, I'll tell you more about it just um to teach you on how to uh pick up the mantle to do many things first uh, for your life and then clarify your values um i mean your um, those kind of honesty love and all these kind of tools that you may need them in your success journey uh, they have been embedded in this particular book uh, we have um, determine your true goals um uh, teaching you how to set goals and then achieve them um, then decide upon your major definite purpose what uh what actually do you want to do in life what is your niche that um, you you mining and then um we also have analyze your beliefs analyze your beliefs what you actually believe in start at the beginning um what is going to teach you to start from wherever you are and in fact i love this point so much start from wherever you are you need not to get everything to to, to, to push yourself to where you want to get to sometimes it might be financial problem sometimes it might be that um, it might be um, I mean I mean I mean the enabling environment or the basic thing that you need to um, embark on your, on your success journey but then you remember witness that most of most of these things are not available but then what do you have to do, do you have to give up on your on your dream or your goal no you need to start from a humble beginning and then push yourself um, you have measured your, your, your progress uh, also helps you to evaluate yourself and then remove the roadblocks i mean uh, I call it obstacles you need to get rid of, of, of obstacles then become an expert in your foot how to become a guru or, or a genius in every foot that you find yourself and then associate with the right people helping you to uh, by maybe by the law of um, uh, Pareto's principle know the people that surround you and then know how you can best move with them I mean moving with the right people because uh, research has shown that if you hang around with uh, nine negative people you become the 10th negative person so it means that your association determines I mean your, your, your destiny I mean people that surround you what did you have a major impact on you and then research also shows that uh, on the average of five, five people you, so you become the average of five five people that you spend most of your time with so if Brian, Brian this is writing about um, how do you call it them association with the right people I think he has all that it takes to, to do this thing they also have um, uh, make a plan of action we have managed your time well that is about time management we have review your goals daily the others to help you to evaluate um, what you doing to achieve uh, that goal that you set for yourself you have visualized your goals continually you have activated your super conscious mind and I love this point so much I always tell people that um, the smallest and the biggest thing that God has actually given to humanity is the mind but then it depends on what you put into the mind what you, what you actually feed your mind with I mean creates the power for you and there's nothing as powerful as the human mind so the best of all things that you can have for yourself is to know how to position yourself to be that individual who will have mastery over positivity um uh, i recall them there's this um uh, this is a quote that, that says that um negative people see problems within opportunity whilst positive people see um, opportunity within, within problems and it's all about the mind all these things are man wake you need to um, know who you are and then know how to position your mind very well and then um that is just about activating your subconscious mind and then we also have we also have 
um, to remain flexible at all times. You need to unlock your inborn activity. It's also here. You need to do something every day, persist until you succeed. And then, um, in conclusion, take action today. Recommend reading Learning Resource of Reinforcement International Index about the author. So, these are some of the things that um, is being contained in this book that I think uh, if you have it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you so much. It's a powerful book. Uh, yes, I would like to uh, read the intro. It says, this is a wonderful time to be alive. There have never been more opportunities for creative and determined people to achieve more of their goals than there are today. Regardless of short terms ups and downs in the economy in your life, we are entering an age of peace and prosperity superior to any previous era in human history. In the year 1900, there were 5,000 millionaires in America. By the year 2000, the number of millionaires had increased to more than 5 million. Wow. Wow. Then most of them self-made in one generation expect created another 10 to 20 million million millionaires will be created in the next two decades. Your goal should be should be to become one of them. Yes. So I mean they're gonna be I mean about 20 million millionaires that will be created in the next two decades and then you need to position yourself to be one of these kind of millionaires we're talking about. So um diving more into the book um you just need to stay with me. Like I said, it is good. So you need to grab for yourself a copy. It is a very nice book. It's gonna help you so much if you're a student. This some of the things that you can read aside your academic job, and it's gonna do a great job. So um, then, the diving more into it, I want to um, explain some of the things that Brian Tracy has used to convey his message. Some of the things that he talks about, that he talks about in this book, and then you can position yourself to know how this book is actually going to help you and then like i said so um this book goals is basically um, by brian tracy and then it can be used to succeed in business and it can be used to stay, um, succeed in academics it can be used to study in any endeavor just like i previously said so now let's move on so um um this goals book um, teaches you how to get everything you want faster than you ever thought possible uh, it is a comprehensive man and then through his guide people are actually positioning themselves on certain achievement personal and professional goals and then this book begins by discussing um, the importance of goal setting and the benefits it can have on an individual's overall success so you need to so reading this book this book is uh, basically going to teach you about the importance of goal setting and you know as a human being you can never live your life without goal setting you can't actually live and this for that goal certain. If, in fact, when you decide to make plans or you decide not to make plans, you are still making plans. And this is one of the things that Brian Tracy deals with in this particular book. I mean, it, 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 it's an amazing book you can have for yourself and it's actually going to help you so much. So, um, in the book, so Tracy actually delves um, into the different types of goals. He actually explained, you know, we have, we have short-term goals then we have um, long-term goals as well. So some of the short-term goals are what we'd like to achieve in this week's month. Now, uh, long-term goals actually are goals that you'd like, you like to achieve, um, I mean, from two, three, four, five years, some maybe 20 years, depending, depending on what you actually uh, want to do. So um, throughout the book, um, Tracy, um, uses real life examples and uh, case studies to illustrate the concept and strategies he presents. So it's not just, um, just a mere story book, it's not even a story book, but then he uses it to, 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 to uh, bring out real life examples and then uh, dive, more, dive more into it to educate people on how, how they can go about, about, about some of these things. And then overall, um, this Google book, um, I would say, um, it is an informative and practical guide to setting and achieving personal and professional goals. I mean, it provides readers with the tools and strategies they need to achieve success and reach their full potential. So, I mean, it gives you the tool, it, 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 I mean, it serves as an anchor, it allows you to just move up towards that thing that um, you, you love so much to, 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 uh, to achieve. So, imagine I'm a business owner, imagine I have this business that I'm running. How can I actually use goals by Brian Tracy to achieve my to achieve um, my dreams and then to achieve success in whatever that I'm doing? Um, you know, um, number one, I need to say, uh, I mean, the book, I mean, Brian Tracy made mention of certain clear and then measurable goals. So you need to make sure that your goals are so clear and your goals are, are also measurable. Measurable in the sense that, I mean, they can be achieved. Somebody, uh, imagine um, I go to school, 
I have the aim of graduating to become the president of my country. That is a good idea, but then it's not good enough. I mean, my goal should be measurable, and then it should be attainable as well. So that point, we know more about it. So, um, Tracy actually emphasizes the importance of certain specific measurable and then time-bound goals in this particular book. And then I believe this can be applied to a business setting by a certain club and then quantifiable goals for the company, such as increasing revenue by a certain percentage or reaching um, a certain number of customers. It can also go by prioritizing uh, goals that is... Um, uh, then this could mean prioritizing projects or initiatives that will have the biggest impact on the company's bottom line. And then you can also decide on um, taking good action. I mean, and then this book too, um, Tracy stresses, and in this book too, um, Tracy stresses the importance of taking action towards achieving goals. So you can't just set your goals just like that. I mean, somebody once said that. If you set a goal and then you don't make up a plan to achieve that goal, it's just an ambition. It's just, uh, it's just you trying to go by your personal ambition. But then, um, once you set a goal and then you make up the plan to work hard towards achieving that goal, I think that's one of the best thing that one of the best of all things that you can have in um, reaching out for your goals. And then, it not only that, um, in the business arena, you can, you can also work on the mindset. And then, and then attitude. You can work on the mindset. What is within here? And then attitude. Um, and then in the book, Brian Tracy talks about the importance of having a positive mindset and attitude when it comes to achieving goals. And then um, in business in general, you know, we know that I'm um, certain uh, we need to foster a culture of positivity and motivation. So I mean, um, definitely in the business arena, you're going to work with people. There is this kind of boss that may come and then be shouting on you and all those kind of things. But then you need to be, you need to stay positive and you need to be motivated um, so that um, the, the main aim of the company can be achieved and I believe uh, it, it, it's a wonderful thing that you can incorporate into your business and continuously uh, you need to evaluate and adjust um, our goals so just like Brian Tracy said in the book we need to continuously do that to achieve the maximum results that we are actually looking for um, so um, I would say that overall um, in the business Arena actually, um, Brian Tracy can be used. Uh, Brian Tracy's goal can be goal book can be used as a guide to help business set and achieve their goals, and um, to help them create a culture of success and then and growth. It can help business owners and leaders to prioritize their goals, and I believe this is another thing that they can actually have for yourself. Now, um, what about if I'm a student? How can I actually use goals by Brian Tracy to? Um, achieve maximum results in my endeavor so just like the first uh the first one just like i earlier said or you need to be a student you need to set clear measurable goals and this emphasizes the importance of certain specific measurable and then time bound goals and then this can be applied to a student's academic journey just by setting clear quantifiable goals for grades test scores and other academic milestones that you'd like to achieve and then um, I believe that for a student to, this could mean um, prioritizing coursework and studying for exams um, that are most relevant to the major, uh, to the major or a future career. You know, if you're a student, you can't actually dodge an exams, but then you can then prioritize your goals to achieve what you want to achieve. Then ultimately, you need to take action. You need to take massive action. So. Um, you uh, need to take an action such as studying regularly, seeking help from teachers or tutors, and then staying organized. So, and then you also have to work on your mindset and attitude as a student. And um, for a student, this means maintaining a, a growth mindset, believing in oneself and one's ability to succeed and staying motivated. I believe uh, this book will actually give you a great, I mean, a great benefit. Just grab a copy and just um, some few. Dollars, some few dollars and then sent to go you, you just have to get a copy of it hello clever yeah don't forget to like, um, like this video comment share subscribe and then let me know let me know your comment in the comment section below please if you haven't subscribed do your possible best to subscribe for more of such videos um, yes yes so if you haven't subscribed do your possible best subscribe it is success with clever